Hello everyone, welcome back to the Zach F1 channel and in today's video it is the video you have been waiting for in the F1 Fantasy community and that is my F1 Fantasy chip guide for the United States Grand Prix and I'll be giving a, basically a few hints, not really hints, telling you what I'm going to be doing in Brazil and Qatar as well because basically we want to be using our chips in sprint races. So I'm not going to mess you guys about, we're going to get straight into it, here is what you need to do. So like I just mentioned, Cota is a sprint race and an F1 fantasy you need to be using your main chips so those are extra drs limitless no negative and autopilot all in the sprint races because there's more points up for grabs which means they are more important to get right now luckily for you we have this thing called a broken system in f1 fantasy which means you can lock in your team after sprint qualifying because there's no points for sprint qualifying but that is very vital because it means we know exactly what's going to happen basically for the rest of the weekend before we even lock in our teams, which is going to become very useful later on. Then we need to look at all of the overtaking for the last three sprint races because it's very important that you get more points normally at tracks that you can overtake more. And it's just as simple as if there's more points on for offer, then you go for the better chip. So with that in mind, Qatar has the most overtakes from last season going into this season with 48 in the actual race and 31 in the sprint race. Cota had 47 in the real race and 19 in the sprint and Brazil only had 25 in the real race but a whopping 35 in the sprint. So all of them are decent for overtaking however Qatar pips it for the best for overtaking which will come into play. So now you have all the information that you need to apply what chip you should be using at Cota. So for me this is the second best track you can use Limitless on. It's not the best but it it is the second best so if anyone is planning to use limitless it's still not a bad shout my limitless team would look like this Lando Norris, Charles Leclerc, Oscar Piastri, Max Verstappen and then any of George Russell, Carlos Sainz or Lewis Hamilton I would most likely go for Lewis Hamilton and then constructor wise I would go with McLaren and Ferrari however like I mentioned because we get to see sprint qualifying if we see that Ferrari look worse than Mercedes then you switch out Ferrari as a constructor to Mercedes and then bring in George Russell over Charles Leclerc or something like that potentially Perez does really well and Red Bull look like a really good constructor then you could bring in Red Bull as a constructor as well and potentially bring him in as the fifth driver so bear in mind it's all about the sprint qualifying results however most likely this is what it's going to look like but basically it's because Limitless works best at races where you get a lot of overtakes done because you need your whole team to do well you need them all to get into the top five and all get quite a few overtakes potentially positions gained your whole team just has to not crash out and get in the top five and then you are bulletproof then we move on to extra drs and this is my favorite for this next track coming up and there is a reason for it again sprint qualifying very useful and it is because you need to have the top two drivers in your team because you get a three times drs boost so you get three times the points of your driver let's say lando norris and then you get also the two times that you need to put on another driver so you have to have at least two brilliant drivers e.g. Lando Norris and Charles Leclerc and then the rest of your team doesn't really matter that much for a weekend like this however you have to be careful because like I mentioned you really want to be focusing on what the stats show so in sprint qualifying because most people can't afford Max Verstappen and Lando Norris let's say Lando Norris is pole and then Max Verstappen second and there's no sight of Oscar Piastri or Charles Leclerc because realistically those are the other two options you could use in the extra DRS then I would say don't use extra DRS this weekend. It has to be a clear-cut sign that Verstappen's nowhere and you can use a team that you can afford to use extra DRS. It is not worth it and you should wait till Qatar if you can't afford these teams because extra DRS, in my opinion, is the most important chip in the season, so you have to get it right. Then up next is Autopilot and I think this is the third best chip you can use at this weekend now it's not terrible and it is a great option to have because hey like i mentioned more points up for grabs means if you get your two times wrong it is worse for your team than on a normal race weekend however you want to be using this on a weekend where you're not really wasting a really good sprint race weekend for overtakes positions gains not that many dnfs a few dsqs last season but that was a little bit weird for kota on autopilot because you want to be using autopilot on a race like brazil where we can get a lot of chaos a lot of crazy races which could end up with a lot of dnfs and a lot of changes because if your two times driver doesn't do well then autopilot will change it over to your next best driver which i think 
definitely for Brazil is a better option. Like just look at how many DNFs Brazil had last season to the United States Grand Prix last season. Bear in mind, I'm not taking into effect Hamilton and Leclerc because those were disqualifications. And then no negative. Again, I'd probably say this is the fourth best chip to use. I really wouldn't use it at a track like Cota. Like I mentioned, because you're wasting a sprint race where you could be using extra DRS, Limitless, or even Autopilot, all three of them would be better at a race like this. Again, it's because there isn't that many DNFs realistically around this track. Again, like I mentioned, there's much more at Brazil. So it's one of those tracks where you either want to be using no negative or autopilot at Brazil, but not really looking at it for Cota. Then for final fix, again, like I've been sort of mentioning with autopilot and no negative, especially this, final fix does not help you on a sprint race weekend because you either have to use it after the sprint race or before qualifying. And with final fix, you can only use it once. You can only change one driver and it has to be, okay, you've swapped it. Now you have it for the rest of the weekend and you can do that any weekend possible. So for me, there's not much difference between using it on a normal weekend and a sprint race weekend. Like I mentioned, you don't wanna be wasting a sprint race weekend on these sorts of chips like wildcard it's just wasting a chip like extra drs limitless autopilot or even no negative all four of them are better than wildcard it's not a bad chip but it's not the weekend to be using it unless your team is drastically terrible but by this point of the season your team should be decent enough to use one of those good chips even if it's not then limitless so for me wildcard is what you do after this weekend if you don't like your team, but not on the actual sprint race. And then finally, a quick side note to end off this video, I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek into what my plan is and what I believe most people should be doing for the chips going into the final part of the season. And yes, all of my chips will be used at sprint race weekends. So for me, the best place to use extra DRS, like I mentioned, would be Cota. Autopilot or no negative, depending on what you have left, would be used at Brazil. And then my Limitless, if I still had it, Again, if you have Limitless, would be used at Qatar. Again, it varies from person to person. If you don't have enough team value to bring in the top two drivers at the US Grand Prix, then wait till Qatar. Also, if Max Verstappen looks very good, wait till Qatar and hope that either you get enough team value to bring him in for a race weekend when that happens again at Qatar, or hope that Charles Leclerc, Lewis Hamilton, anyone looks like they can compete with Lando Norris or Oscar Piastri. Hopefully Oscar Piastri and Lando Norris just make life easy and look like the top two easily because then we've got our lives very easy and our decisions won't be that hard. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. This video is ram packed with info going ahead into the season and for Kota, what you should be doing chips wise. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you got something out of this video. Have a nice rest of your day and bye bye.